Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about how to copy and paste text using just the terminal, um, which can be useful for, I don't know, taking stuff to external services or stuff like that. Um, I'm going to show you how to do this in Linux and on Mac OS. However, I couldn't get my Mac booting today, so unfortunately, you'll just have to deal with the Linux equivalent. Um, but yeah, on Linux, we're going to be using a command called xcopy, uh, which is part of, oops, uh, xclip, sorry, man xclip. <laughs> Not next copy. Oh boy, <laughs> off to a great start. Um, which uses, uh, and this is specific to the X windowing system, so it might uh, be slightly different if you're using a different uh, base base window system. But anyway, we're, there's a whole bunch of options here. We're really only gonna be looking at two of them. Uh, one of them is the dash selection. And again, this uh, tool is a little bit weird. So it uses single dash long options instead of double dash like most other tools do. Um, so be, note that down when you're running a command. Uh, so we're gonna be using dash selection, that way we can use the keyboard as our, or the clipboard as our target. And we're gonna be using dash O or dash out uh, for when we need to put things to output. Um, but the basics behind this is it takes input either using standard in or as a file. I'll show a file in a second. Uh, xclip dash selection C. This command will take its input and put it onto the clipboard. So if we do this and then, you know, paste using control shift V, uh, you'll see that it was able to take high and put it into the clipboard. Um, of course, you know, using the actual keyboard to paste is, is not, not the point of this video, um, because we can do that programmatically. So if we do dash O, you'll see that it uh, produces the output directly and you might chain this command to some other command. Uh, I also mentioned that it can use a file. So if we write something to a file such as this, and we do xclip dash selection C, and then the file name. So in this case, the file name is just F. Uh, that will also copy it to the clipboard. Uh, so you can see there it is as well. And I believe you can also use uh, dash O to do that as well. Uh, maybe not. Nope, I guess not. <laughs> this argument is just ignored. <laughs> Weird. Uh, but anyway, that's xclip. This is what you would probably use on Linux. Uh, on macOS, it does not use the x system, so there are different commands. And the most common ones that I know of are pbcopy and pbpaste. Um, I often see many people that do that work on Linux aliasing these to the xclip commands. Uh, so something like this, and alias pbpaste as xclip dash o dash selection c. Uh, so then they can do, you know, echo high to pb copy, and then pb paste will have, uh, you know, that, that contents in there. So this is what you'll use on macOS. I actually don't know of a command on Windows that does this. Um, there might not be one, um, but I also didn't research Windows. That's on me. Um, I wanted to show you one cool uh, application of this, and that is a tool that I wrote called Import Time Waterfall. Oops, pip install import time waterfall. And what this does is it profiles imports. I've actually mentioned this in a few other videos as well. Um, but by default, if you pass it a module name, um, here we'll have it import uh, a profile itself, you'll get this kind of like human readable output for how long each of the imports happen. Uh, but sometimes this isn't the most readable. And so there is an option to uh, output this to what's called a HAR file, which is a special format that's used for uh, the network tab in like browser inspectors. So if we do uh, dash dash HAR, you'll see they'll output this whole blob of JSON, which isn't useful on its own. But if we do uh, xclip dash selection C, take that onto our clipboard um, and then go to a HAR viewer, uh, such as this one, and we paste this in here and do preview, you'll see that we can get like a nice, nice graph of how the imports run here. So you can see that, for instance, the locale module takes a bit of time here. Um, so the, the gray time is the time, which is self time. So you can see like get text and locale happen to take a, a certain larger amount of self time, as does the typing module. Um, but anyway, that's xclip uh, and how to read and write text from your clipboard, hopefully this was useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.